For two hours of breathless drama, you'll find yourself opening up your heart and forgetting that those are really actors up there that are grunting and acting like chimps. And you'll actually find yourself rooting and hoping that these two different civilizations can put aside their differences and actually get along. You've probably already guessed it, but this episode of The Movie Moment will take an inside look at Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. All right, guys. In Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, it's been 10 years since the events of the first film, and a growing nation of genetically evolved apes, led by Caesar, of course, find themselves threatened by a band of human survivors of the devastating virus that happened a decade earlier. They find themselves somewhat at peace, but it's really short-lived, because within no time, they find themselves at the brink of war to find out who will become the Earth's dominant species. You know the scary thing about them? They don't need power. Lights, heat, nothing. That's the advantage. That's what makes them stronger. We both have families. You want to protect yours, I want to protect mine. It's our only chance for peace. Matt, what did you think of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Well, actually, it was everything I thought it was going to be. It was action-packed. Lots of uh, leads up to the next one is what I, like, I can't wait to get out there and uh, see the next one. Perfect. So what did you think of the special effects? The special effects were unreal, just like the last one. And uh, again, the next one coming out is going to be twice as good, I'm pretty sure. And the next one coming out is coming out in July of 2016. Are you aware? No! They are going to turn on you. They're animals! Caesar, you're all. Who was that? A good man like you. Caesar love humans more than apes. If you threaten his family, he will retaliate. Don't shoot! We're here at the Galaxy Cinema, and I'm being joined by Vaughn. So Vaughn, tell me what you thought of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Which character was Dawn? <laughs> That's the name of the movie. Oh, it wasn't a bad movie. It was just like the other Planet of the Ape movies, and it was, they're all a little bit different. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was about the humans trying to destroy our Earth. And the apes, well, they're trying to save it. It stood out more, the, act, the figures stood out more, and you actually thought you are right involved with the apes. You move. Should we shoot him? Maybe. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want a drink? <laughs> oh, oh, all right. All right. Easy. Easy. All right. <laughs> For the past 12 years, actor Andy Serkis has become the world's most sought-after motion capture artist. In fact, you've seen him play roles such as Golem, King Kong, and of course, Caesar. What are you doing? I'm saving the human race. Oh my god. We made contact! Military! They're already on their way! Chris, what do you think of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? I think the uh, special effects are amazing. Out of 10 stars so far, how many would you give Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? I'd say an 8 so far. I'm going to be completely honest with you here. This movie was a little bit boring for the first half hour and I found it a little bit slow moving. That being said, I do realize that the first half hour was a pretty much a lead up explaining the last movie that happened three years ago. There are some unbelievable moments in this movie, especially when you see an ape riding a horse with a machine gun in both hands and shooting. All that being said, I did love this movie very much. It was spectacular. The special effects were amazing. Andy Serkis did an amazing job as Caesar. You really find him very believable. And I would say that everybody should come see Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And I can't wait till July of 2016 when the next Planet of the Apes movie comes out. For your movie moment at the Galaxy Cinema, I'm Joanne Bluen. I'm sorry, my friend.